Over 11,000 satellites are hovering above our planet and thousands more are up for launches in the next few years. But these satellites also pose a hazard to the outer atmosphere for when they burn in the atmosphere, they re basically release toxic chemicals. Our next story telling you how Japan is launching a wooden satellite that could answer the problem. Take a look. It might just make space exploration a little more sustainable. Scientists in Japan are set to test the world's first wooden satellite. The Lignosat was developed by a team from Kyoto University and home builder Sumitomo Forestry. It will be launched next week atop a SpaceX rocket bound for the International Space Station. Former Japanese space shuttle astronaut Takao Doi was part of the Kyoto team. If we can use materials that humans can make and bring them to outer space, people will be able to create a sustainable society. Therefore, we want to find out if wood can be used in space or not, and that's why we made this wooden satellite. Lignosat, named after the Latin word for wood, will be released from the space station in the coming weeks. It will orbit for six months, testing how well the material can withstand the extreme environment. Forest science professor Koji Murata says wood can actually perform well in space, as there's nothing there to make it rot or catch fire. The wood used for the satellite comes from a type of magnolia tree, Japanese hanoki. Traditionally, it is easy to process and resistant to shattering which is why it is typically used for things like the scabbards of Japanese swords and the blades of Japanese wooden sandals due to its strength. Wood also offers benefits at the end of the satellite's life, when it will burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere. Traditional satellites burn up too, but give off a shower of polluting metal particles when they do. Looking further ahead, Doi sees the satellite as a step towards a bigger dream. He wants to plant trees and build timber houses on the Moon and Mars.